what are you feeling right now? Whatever you're feeling now and all throughout the day when you're not thinking about it is going to be your natural state of being. If you don't like how you're feeling right now and all throughout the day and you have these more depressive, anxious, sad, angry emotions, then this video is going to be very helpful for you. I'm Salma Lama, your spiritual bestie, and I'm here to help you create the life of your dreams. I'm so excited to share this information with you because I didn't know if you could really change your state of being until a month ago when I finally broke through and I've been waking up every day feeling happy, peaceful, and pleasant all throughout the day without having to put any effort into it at all. So there are some key points that I have to share with you before I tell you exactly what you need to do because you need this information to understand why you're doing what you're doing. The subconscious mind controls your reality. There's things in there that you don't know are in there. And the subconscious mind's language is feeling. Throughout the day, if you are feeling sad, depressed, anxious most of your days, you are programming that into your subconscious mind. So it's like a cycle. You're going to continuously feel that and manifest things that create that emotion for you. So in this video, I am going to show you how to change that because I did it. And if I can do it, you can do it. I believe in you. To change your state of being and create a life that you love, you're gonna have to create a new version of yourself. The first thing that you need to do is stop listening to music that makes you feel anything but happy or peaceful. How you think and how you feel creates your reality, but how you feel is what really programs your subconscious mind. So the first thing that you're gonna cut out from your life is music that makes you sad or feel in any way that you do not want to feel in your dream future. I do not want you to think small. I want you to sit here for a moment and close your eyes and really think of what your dream reality would be, what your dream manifestation would be, what your dream future would be. Think about it, write it down, and think of how you would feel in that future. If you are listening to any kind of music that does not feel the way you want to feel in your future, you need to cut them out because we all like to listen to those love songs, songs about breaking up, songs about bad things happening, songs about losing our job, whatever it is, like they're good, but if they have an effect on how you feel, you need to cut them out. And you can only listen to music that makes you feel good. That is the first step. The second thing you need to do is not watch or look at anything that makes you feel bad. So if you are watching some sad movie or the news that's talking about this going wrong and this person dying and this happening, that's not going to make you feel good. You also need to cut that out as well. I used to love watching Ancient Aliens, but I haven't watched it in a long time. And there was an episode I decided I wanted to watch and I started watching it and I realized that they were playing creepy music in the background, which was making me feel scared. And then in that moment, I realized, oh my God, I can't watch this show anymore. It's literally just making me feel scared. I used to feel like it was a show that was giving me all this information, but once I started paying attention to what kind of background music are they using? What is the tone that they're giving off? It would put me in more of a fear-based state. So I had to stop watching it even though it was once one of my favorite shows. Something else I would do was that on TikTok, I have a lot of cute animal videos on there, but then sometimes there'll be a video that pops up and it'll be a dog that's like in a trash can and they tell this sad story and then I get sad and then it gets rescued and then I'm happy at the end. So I just went through a whole emotional roller coaster in 45 seconds. Why would I do that to myself? Why would you and I allow something in our outer reality to play with our emotions like that. So if you're watching something or looking at something, pay attention to how you feel. If it is not the feeling that you want to feel in your perfect, most happiest, joyful reality, then don't watch it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. The third thing you need to do is watch your thoughts. So we're all human. We have these repeating thoughts that pop up every single day and you probably know what your repeating thoughts are. Maybe some of you don't because you're so unconscious and caught up in your life that you don't even know what's happening in your brain. 
pay attention if you're one of those people. You need to pay attention to how you're talking to yourself and what you think of yourself. So this is probably one of the hardest steps, but you need to cut out the negative thoughts and these programs and cycles that you go into every single day that are not serving you, that are negative, that are making you sad, that are making you anxious, that are making you depressed, okay? If these thoughts are not having a positive effect on you, then you need to let them go, especially if you're having them on a regular basis. You need to practice treating yourself with love and thinking positively. Here's an example. Your mind might tell you, I'm really bad at playing the piano. That would be a negative thought, a negative way to treat yourself. Instead of saying that, you could say, I'm not the best at playing the piano right now, but I'm so happy and proud of myself for trying to play and I'm going to continue to practice until I get really good. So you just switched a negative thought into something positive and constructive for yourself. And in this new thought, you're also appreciating yourself for even trying to play the piano. You need to treat yourself like you are the love of your life and you believe in yourself. You need to think loving thoughts when it comes to yourself. Plain and simple, because you deserve it. The fourth thing that you need to do is to stop making decisions that are not right for you. Sometimes in life, there's times where you know there's a right decision, a wrong decision, and then the gray area. And back in the day, I used to sometimes tread in the gray area because in my head, I'm like, well, everybody's doing it, so it's fine if I do it too. It's not that big of a deal. Don't do that. You need to start treating yourself with love and respect and making the right decision for yourself. When you start making these decisions, your self-worth starts skyrocketing and you'll actually start feeling really, really good and you will gain this momentum, which I call the flow, and you will literally start feeling it. So make sure to do this, take the high road when it comes to you. If you actually take these steps seriously and implement them into your life, your state of being will change. It's not gonna change overnight. You need to stay consistent and really commit to this, but I know you can do it because if I did it, you can do it. That's the truth. You need to train yourself to feel positive emotions. So cutting these things out is going to help you tremendously. If you've been feeling a certain way for years, let's say 20 years, 30 years, it's gonna take some effort to snap yourself out of that state of being and to feel a new way. So really take these tips to heart and actually try them out. Put in effort, do this for yourself because you deserve the life of your dreams. Don't play small and don't let these external things control you. I'm not saying you're never gonna have a down day because in life, there's always gonna be ups and downs. But by doing this, you can make sure that you're mostly up and then you have a down versus being down most of your life and then having an up and then crashing back down. So you can totally flip that over, be feeling good most of the time and have moments of sadness. I also wanna share some things that happen once you're actually implementing these steps. As you're on this journey to happiness and changing your state of being to a more peaceful, happy state, all the time, there's gonna be lows because as you get to these elevated states of being, your subconscious mind is going to know when to release something for you to see it. And it's most likely going to be when you're feeling good because it's going to be like, they are feeling good, they're in a harmonious state, let me reveal this to them because now is the time that they can receive this and really look at this. If I were to reveal this to them at a time where they were feeling bad, they would just ignore this and push it back down. So as you do this over time, you will see that it's gonna feel like you're moving forward at a fast rate, and then you're gonna have a drop. When you have that drop, do not freak out. The drop is something that your subconscious mind wants you to see that is holding you back from this happiness. So when you have this emotional drop suddenly, it's a good thing. It's gonna feel bad, but it's a good thing. Just look at it, be present with yourself, ask the universe, ask God, ask your body, ask your higher self, ask your spirit guides, your angels, whatever you believe in and you're into to help you figure out what it is that is being released. Once you see it and you process it, 
you will bounce back to an even higher level of happiness and joy. And it's going to be a constant cycle. And by doing all of this, you are going to change your reality, your 3D life. Things are going to shift for you because you are no longer the same person. You're no longer feeling the way you did. You're no longer thinking the way you did. You're treating yourself with more love. You're doing things that make you feel good. You're making the right decisions. You're not allowing these external sources to mess with your emotions anymore because you see it and you're aware of it. And then your vibration helps change the world. As people cross paths with you, they will feel your energy. They will feel your frequency and you will help shift other people and it'll trickle out. By doing this, you are literally harmonizing the universe within yourself and that is going to trickle out into your reality and into the people that cross paths with you. And ultimately, you are helping change the world. So please do this for yourself. You deserve to be happy. It is possible. Again, I was a very depressed person. I've gone through lots of things in my life. I don't carry that baggage around. And I have been able to let that go and change my state of being. And so can you. I believe in you. You can do it. I'm so excited for you. Make sure to like this video if this information was helpful to you. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.